Another photo finished today at the Summer Games in Paris, and one of America's top medal winners ended her time at the Summer Olympics with a silver medal. ABC's Inez de la Cutera has the details from France. The world's best gymnast proved today that she is not invincible. Monday's beam final was the first time Simone Biles had performed in any Olympic competition without winning a medal. A rare fall off the balance beam kept her off the podium in that event won by Italy's Alice D'Amato. She was the fourth gymnast to fall, including fellow American Suni Lee, who also missed out on a medal. You know, obviously I'm a little bit disappointed just because that's not how I wanted to end my Olympics, but I'm super proud of how I was able to kind of overcome everything. Just two hours after the beam competition, Biles was back for floor. During her routine, she stepped out of bounds on two tumbling passes, costing her the gold medal, ending her third Olympics with a silver medal. Her teammate Jordan Childs winning bronze. I'm not very, very upset or anything about my performance at the Olympics. I'm actually very happy, proud, and even more excited that it's over. <laughs> the stress of it. Biles is still the most decorated American Olympic gymnast of all time, now with 11 total Olympic medals. In Paris, she won four. In beach volleyball, Americans Kristen Nuss and Taryn Cloth were upset by Canada. Nuss and Cloth are ranked number two in the world and had previously lost only one set. Another American team did advance to the quarterfinals. The U.S. mixed triathlon relay team won silver in a photo finish. In the event, each competitor swam one lap of 300 meters in the Seine River, biked seven kilometers, and then ran two laps of 900 meters. There had been many concerns about the water quality in the Seine. Belgium's team withdrew from the race after one of its athletes got sick. And on the track, American Gabby Thomas making it to the 200-meter final after easily winning today's semifinal. Fellow Americans Brittany Brown and Mackenzie Long will also be in that race. And the next time we're expecting to see Noah Lyles race is on Wednesday. As for Shakari Richardson, her next race is set to be held on Thursday. In Esdala like Quintero, ABC News, Paris. And from Manuel High School to Paris, France, Louisville Olympian Yared Nagus will move on to the men's 1500 meter dash finals. He punched his ticket in style, winning the semifinals with a time of 3 minutes and 31.72 seconds. The former DuPont Manual Crimson jumped to the front of the pack seconds after the gun and remained there the entire race. He will run in the final tomorrow. You can watch at 2.50 p.m. Eastern Time.